Good day to you and all distinguished participants. First, I would like to thank the Secretary General for his kind invitation to address the World Telecommunication ICT Policy Forum 2021. ITU-APT Foundation of India, in short IAFI, is a non-profit, non-political, non-partisan foundation in the Asia-Pacific region based out of India. IAFI is working for the last 18 years with the prime objective of encouraging involvement of professionals, corporates, public sector, private sector industries, R&D organizations, academic institutions, and such other agencies in the activities of ITU and the Asia Pacific Telecommunity, APT. As a regional telecom organization and as a sector member of the ITU, IAFI is an important partner of ITU in strengthening collaboration between ITU and India. We are an active participant in the activities of ITU through our delegations and contributions to a number of events and meetings. IAFI has been extensively engaged with the ITU on issues relating to public safety spectrum, PPDR, satellites, and 5G for industries and enterprises. We are also engaged with all the three sectors of the ITU on disaster communications. Earlier this year, ITU published the detailed specifications for IMT 2020 air interface that will support several uses, not only for consumers, but also for industries and enterprises. One of these technologies was submitted by India and IFA played a pivotal role in getting the certification. Policies and regulation for 6G will require much greater coordination within and across various ITU study groups and sectors. IAFI has already proposed some initial thoughts on a high-level 6G vision to the ITOR Working Party 5D. India has been at the forefront of using wireless technologies in, in responding to the challenge of COVID-19 pandemic. It's a matter of great satisfaction that India has administered over 1.3 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses. All vaccinations are being managed through mobile wireless network. India's mobile app, Arogya Setu, keeps the population updated on the COVID-19 and connects the health services to the people. Before I conclude, I want to thank the ITU, in particular, the Secretary General, Mr. Holin Zhao, the Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Malcolm Johnson, the Director of the Radio Communication Bureau, Mr. Mario Manivich, the Director of the Telecommunication Standardization Bureau, Mr. Chai Sab Lee, and the Director of the Telecom Development Bureau, Madam Doreen Bagdan Martin. In conclusion, we compliment the ITU for its role in promoting harmonized policies and regulations for ICT, as these are key to meeting the UNO's Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you, Madam Chairperson.